meteorologist Matt Bullock. And we have been keeping you guys updated with the latest details on soon to be Helene. Now this system has been a coastal low with some tropical characteristics as this system is located 125 miles off the coast of Charleston, but is expected to reach into the Gulf Stream this evening as it enters that warm water. It will get more tropical characteristics and it's likely to become a tropical storm sometime tonight, according to the National Hurricane Center and continue to strengthen with sustained winds up to 50 miles per hour. Now the latest forecast track shows soon to be Helene making landfall somewhere between the low country and then along the Grand Strand. So somewhere in between those areas late tomorrow morning and then quickly weak into a depression as we head into Monday night. And so we already have tropical storm warnings already in effect for Georgetown County, portions of Warrior County all along the Grand Strand. And so tomorrow it is a first alert weather day. The main impacts what we were talking about is heavy rain, two to six inches, locally mounts even higher, coastal flooding, also some strong winds. So let's talk about our future radar, kind of showing you what's going on. We'll continue to track these scattered showers, but as we head into midnight, that steadier rain starts to move through our area. As we head into Monday morning, 7 a.m. on your way to work, drop the kids off at school, We'll start to see that heavier band of rain starting to move into Horry County. So we have to watch out for some flash flooding, those poor drainage areas on the roadway. So I'll give yourself an extra 20, 30 minutes of time for your morning's commute. As we head into Monday evening, we will start to see that system begin to push farther in. You can already see about 7 o'clock uh, already in the PD, and the worst of that storm is behind us. And so when all said is done, models are anticipating about two to six inches of rain with even isolated amounts even higher in North Myrtle Beach into Oak Island. So that's the reason why we have flash flood watches in effect for Georgetown, Ori, Marion, Dillon, Robinson, and Scotland County in effect tonight through Tuesday morning. Then we have the gusty winds. Today it's been breezy up to 30 miles per hour on the coastlines. As we head into Monday morning, up to 30 miles per hour all across their area. But as we head into late Monday morning to the afternoon as that center of circulation begins to move onshore. We're expecting winds to be as high as 50 miles per hour here along the coastline. So late morning, early afternoon being the main impacts of this system. With those high winds, we'll see that risk for minor, minor coastal flooding in those poor drainage areas, as well as uh, minor beach erosion and rough seas and dangerous rip currents. Along with that, there's also a possibility for an isolated quick spin up associated with the center of circulation of that system making landfall somewhere between the Grand Strand into the low country. And so as we talk about that timeline for tonight, steadier rain moves in after midnight, flash flooding possible, but more likely as we head into Monday morning, as we'll see those tropical downpours, winds start to pick up up to 45, 50 miles per hour. So late morning, early afternoon becoming the best timing for impacts. And as we head into Monday night, System clears out, slow improvements, winds will start to die down again. We'll see significant impacts, and tomorrow it is a first alert weather day. Be sure to download the WMBF first alert weather app for the latest details on soon-to-be Helene.